Happy Sunday. Nine News meteorologist Lauren Robinson here with your forecast. Today we're going to see slighter chances for those afternoon and storms, which is a nice relief for some of them who've been getting them back to back over the last few days. But as we take a look at our future cows, we start the day sunny and dry and we'll have a nice, beautiful Sunday afternoon. Now, once we get to the later afternoon hours, early evening hours around three, where we're usually seeing these afternoon storms pop up, you can see for our Sunday, they're a lot more isolated. Those brighter colors are a lot smaller, which means any sort of locally heavy downpours are expected to be much smaller, which also means those storms will be less strong and less severe. And then we'll see everything clear out late Sunday into early Monday. But as you take a look at our severe outlook here, we do have most of the eastern plains, parts of the front range under this marginal risk for severe weather, and then a tiny area in central and southern plains where we have that slight risk. That's where we're going to watch for those enhanced chances for severe storms as we go throughout our Sunday, but the vast majority of this area, if you do see a storm pop up, we're, lo we're mostly looking for locally heavy downpours, strong winds, lightning, thunder, then you could see some hail specifically across the slight risk area. Good news for our Memorial Day, though, for Monday, we don't have any sort of uh, enhanced risk, marginal risk, enhanced, anything like that. So any storms that pop up likely to be less severe. We will see those temperatures pretty warm over the next few days, upper 70s and low 80s as we make our way through the extended weekend. We start our work week with temperatures in the low 80s on Tuesday, but then as we go toward the middle of the week, that's when those temperatures start to drop little by little and we watch for more widespread showers and storms.